Hi, welcome to another video. So, Google is now trying to take over the agentic coding market because they recently launched the Gemini CLI, and now they are making Gemini Code Assist agentic. Yes, because Gemini Code Assist just pushed out a new update today, and this one introduces something called Agent Mode, which is now available as a preview in the chat interface for individuals. I've been trying it out, so let's go through what's new and how it works. It was previously under private preview, but now it's publicly available. Agent mode is basically a way to use Gemini Code Assist as more of a collaborative pair programmer, similar to how Klein or RuCode work. The idea is that you can give it complex, multi-step tasks, and before it does anything, it actually presents a plan for you to review. You can edit, ask for changes, approve, or deny any part of the suggested plan. Nothing gets changed until you approve it, so you're in control of what happens to your code base. There's also support for multi-file editing now in agent mode, which is something that was missing before. Instead of just working on a single file, the agent can now make changes across your entire code base at once, based on your prompt. This is useful if you're doing large-scale refactoring or adding a feature that touches multiple files. If you want to undo the changes, there's also an option to revert local files back to an earlier state. This is super similar to how Klein or RuCode or any agentic coder works. Another thing they've added is full project context in agent mode. This means the agent can analyze your whole code base and pull in files and folders as needed, so the code suggestions and refactorings it gives you are more accurate and context-aware. It should have a better understanding of your project structure, dependencies, and coding patterns, which should make its suggestions more relevant. It actually uses a lot of the same things that Gemini CLI uses, like the Gemini MD file for maintaining context and memory, while it also uses MCP as well, in the same way that Gemini CLI does. Yes, it actually looks in the same path for MCP tools as it does for Gemini CLI, meaning that if you set up the Gemini CLI with an MCP, then this will also have that automatically. They say that Gemini CLI uses a memory discovery service to find and load Gemini MD files that provide context for the agent. The memory discovery service searches for files hierarchically, starting from the current working directory and moving up to the project root and your home directory. It also searches in subdirectories. It also has some slash commands as well. I think that this agent mode is just a wrapper for that, which is not bad at all, and actually good, because you can port to the terminal when you want, and port back to the editor when you want, which is pretty cool nonetheless. It also has a YOLO mode, which you can configure if you want to do that, and it just won't ask you for any approval, and will rip through tasks. Also, it shares the same limits as Gemini code, meaning that if you use this, then the limit of 1,000 requests per day will also be deducted from Gemini code. So, use that accordingly. Anyway, let me tell you how you can use it as well. But before we do that, let me tell you about Ninja Chat. Ninja Chat is an all-in-one AI platform where, for just $11 per month, you get access to top AI models like GPT-40, Claude 3.7 Sonnet, and Gemini 2.0 Flash, all in one place. I've been using Gemini for quick research, but what's really cool is their AI playground where you can compare responses from different models side by side. Their mind map generator is a game changer for organizing complex ideas as well. The basic plan gives you 1,000 messages, 30 images, and 5 videos monthly, with higher tiers available if you need more. Use my code KING25 for 25% off any plan or KING40 yearly for 40% off annual subscriptions. Check the link in description to try it yourself. Now, back to the video. First of all, make sure that you upgrade it to the latest version. Now just open it up 
and you'll see that it looks pretty simple like the last time, and you can't even see the agentic mode here at first. Well, it is because you need to do some settings in order to see that mode, because Google hasn't documented this correctly on how to enable it either. I had to sift through some documentation to find how to enable it. So, you'll need to open the command palette with command shift and P, and then select Open User Settings, JSON. It will open up this file, and you'll need to enter this element here, which enables the Gemini Code Assist Insider build, which is what has this option. So, just do that, and then restart VS Code, and you'll see the Agent Mode option. Just enable it, and it will now get into Agentic Mode. Once you enable that, you also get some slash commands as well like there's the MCP option and about options. Now, I have this King Bench app, and I'm going to ask it to make me an option to filter models in the leaderboard based on provider. Once we do that, you'll see that it will go ahead, and, in typical Gemini CLI fashion, it will read files, edit, and even use MCPs if you have that set up. It even does thinking and stuff and basically just uses Gemini CLI in the back end. You'll see that it edits files and asks for your approval and stuff, which you can easily approve and go ahead. And then in a bit, it gets done, and it actually works well. Like, it is really good. It is very similar to Klein and stuff, though it is not as fleshed out with super intricate settings. But it is still amazing for a first-time thing. I really like it. And it really makes Gemini Code Assist useful. And I think that as the Gemini CLI updates, it will also get improved because it just uses that at the back end. So, this new agent mode actually makes Gemini Code Assist a lot better to use in all places, which is quite awesome if you ask me. It is really good for the free tier, but Google does indeed use the data from this for training, which can be a bummer but it is still awesome for individuals who don't care about it as much. Right now, this is still in preview and only available for individuals. There are some limitations. For example, agent mode can't use code customization or some of the tools you might be used to in regular mode, and it only works in projects with a single root directory. But it's a pretty straightforward update. You get more control, better context, and the ability to work across multiple files at once with the agent. If you want to try it, just make sure your Gemini Code Assist extension is up to date. I liked it and thought to talk about this as well. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!